Hi, welcome to All About Mechanical Engineering. In today's video, we'll understand the application of steady flow energy equation to a steam generator that is also called as boiler. Now, we all have studied in the previous video the general form of steady flow energy equation. The link is given in the description. You can go there and watch the previous video. So as to understand the application of that steady flow energy equation to various applications, one of those is a steam generator, which is also called as a boiler. Now, we all know what is the function of a boiler. It converts the feed water into dry and saturated steam. So, there is no work interaction in case of steam generator. Work is neither supplied nor it is delivered. Whereas, Q, there is Q interaction. Heat is supplied in order to convert that feed water into dry and saturated steam. So, as a general form of steady flow energy equation, that is general steady flow energy equation is given by Q minus W is equals to half of V2 square minus V1 square plus G into Z2 minus Z1 plus H2 minus H1. So this was on unit mass basis. If you want to have as for m kgs of mass, so this is the equation. Now here we all know W is 0. So substituting the in the equation we get Q is equals to m into half v2 square minus v1 square plus g into z2 minus z1 plus h2 minus h1. So here as compared to change in enthalpy of the water, the change in kinetic energy and potential energy are negligible. So it doesn't mean they are zero, they are not zero, they are negligible. The value of these two terms, these two terms is very less as compared to the value of this term. So here I can say that neglecting changes in kinetic energy and potential energy, we have Q is equals to M into bracket h2 minus h1 so this is the only equation that means whatever amount of heat we are supplying to the boiler that is being used to increase the enthalpy of the water as we can see h2 is the output enthalpy and h1 is the input enthalpy so here output is more input is less as we all know as per sign conventions q is positive when it is supplied so here this term is positive because we are supplying heat here if we are having equal sign means if this term is positive this has to be positive in order to have this term positive h2 must be greater than h1 that means this supplied heat increases the value from h1 to h2 that is the only possibility which will give you this term positive. So whatever heat is supplied in a boiler is used to increase the enthalpy of the water in order to convert it into dry and saturated steam. In some books you may find here written as Q is equals to M in bracket U2 minus U1 plus P2 v2 minus p1 v1 so this is another form of the same equation because h the enthalpy is also written as internal energy u plus p v so if you separate this these two terms in terms of h we are putting these two terms so h1 becomes u1 plus p1 v1 and h2 becomes u2 plus p2 v2 so using these two terms this is the equation 
There is nothing different in this. It depends on the type of numerical. If the values of enthalpy are given, then you have to use this. If the values of internal energy and pressure and specific volume are given, then this equation has to be used. So this was all about the application of CD for energy equation to a steam generator. And this is the particular equation for steam generator or boiler. Hope you have enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe and share the videos of our channel. And thank you for watching this video.